G'day, my name's Ian Layton. I'm a horseman from Tasmania, which is a small island state at the bottom of Australia. Uh, I'd like to show you a little bit about how I go about uh, teaching a horse to do flying changes. And unlike a lot of people, I like to teach it on the ground first. Um, it makes my life a lot easier when I go to, to teach them under saddle. So uh, I'll show you, talk about a few of the things you need in order to get this to happen. I guess the first thing I need is a horse that handles really softly, uh, knows how to move around me instead of past me or through me. Uh, he needs to be able to walk, trot and canter really balanced circles. He needs to yield his hind end softly. He needs to know how to steer from the feel of the holder rope. He needs to be really good at changing directions on a circle at a walk, a trot, and eventually a canter, which would be your flying changes. Um, but if you haven't got a list of things that I just mentioned really, really solid, uh, I wouldn't suggest that you even try it because what you'll find is that your horse will change directions and come out on a counter canter or he'll come out disunited. Um, you know, he'll fall in as he comes through. He won't balance and, you know, if you, if you sort of miss all those things out, you're just going to create problems for yourself. So I suggest that you... Uh, Get in and watch a few of my other videos, some of the basic groundwork ones. Um, there's one there called ground, uh, Starting Groundwork Without a Round Yard. That's probably uh, worth a look. And see if you can get some of those things solid before you, you even go towards doing this. But, uh, you know, this is something to work towards. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of my videos. Thank you.